Welcome back to 7 Science, week 2, The Scientific Method. We're going to be getting into our Learn Ed Notebooks, pages 8 and 9 for this activity. And the activity linked below here, right there, is about some of the slides and information listed in pages 8 and 9. So keep that Learn Ed Notebook with you as you start this. And uh, before you finish this video, I did want to mention that the scientific method is something that you will be using a lot in science classes, both in middle school and high school. And should you take any science classes where you need experimentation or uh, inquiry based science, you'll be taking this approach in college. This is the framework for many experiments and for coming up with valid explanations for phenomenon or how to test your theory, you can do this at home, whether you know it or not. Variations of the scientific method people have been using since they're born. Um, kids, when they're learning how to walk and how gravity works instinctually, they practice saying, oh, I wonder if I lean over this way, what'll happen? Or what happens if I hit this thing really hard? What will happen? This looks heavy. I wonder if I can pick it up. We are all scientists, especially at young ages. I have some two young boys who have definitely gone through the early stages of scientific inquiry. I wonder what happens if I if I get too close to this thing that's really hot, or I wonder if I hit my hand really hard against the store, what will happen? Oh, that's a nice sound. I wonder if it'll happen every time. That's kind of the idea of scientists. A normal person would look like look at a light switch, turn it on, the lights the light turns on. Oh, that's amazing turn the light switch off. Oh, that's also amazing. Now, a normal person would say that's how the light switch works. But sometimes scientists think, I wonder if that happens every time and we'll turn the light switch on and off, on and off just to see if the results vary. And whether that sounds like repetitive or annoying, science does this to make sure that something can be repeatable. If something is repeatable, it's often done right and can be proven to be um, real or not. So enjoy this assignment. If you have any questions, or you find something out that's super interesting, I would love to hear about it on Zoom. If you have any questions, you can also ask me there. I'll be fielding questions during Zoom. But otherwise, enjoy the assignment, and I will see you there on Zoom. Bye.